This lesson will show how to determine inverse matrices using the Desmos matrix calculator. The URL for the matrix calculator is shown below. And now let's scroll the calculator and begin by entering matrix A. We first click new matrix. By default we have matrix A as a two by two matrix, which is what we have. We can change the variable used for the matrix by just changing A, and we can also change the dimensions by using the tools below to add or subtract rows or columns. And now let's enter the elements for matrix A. We have one, right arrow, three, right arrow, four, right arrow, and then six, enter. And now to find the inverse of matrix A, we simply click matrix A, and then the inverse key, which is this key here. And now looking at the right, we do have the inverse of matrix A. Notice how it's in decimal form. To convert to fraction form, we click the convert to fraction button on the far right. Let's go ahead and press enter. To verify the inverse matrix, let's find the product of matrix A and A inverse. And we know we should get the two by two identity matrix. So we have A times A inverse, enter. And we do get the two by two identity matrix. Let's go ahead and record the matrix A inverse, which I have here on the right. And now let's find the inverse of matrix B. Notice matrix B is a three by three matrix. So going back to the calculator, click new matrix. Notice by default it is labeled matrix B, but right now matrix B is a two by two matrix. We need to add one row and one column to make it a three by three matrix. And now we enter the elements of matrix B. Instead of using the Desmos keypad, you can use a computer keyboard and simply press tab to change positions in the matrix. For example, for the first row, press one tab, negative two tab, one tab, and so on. Enter, and now let's find B inverse. Press B, then the inverse key, and we automatically have the inverse of matrix B on the right. Once again, notice how the matrix is in decimal form. These decimals do terminate, so these values would be exact, or we can also press the convert to fraction key again on the far right. For consistency, we will use the fraction form of B inverse. Let's press enter, and once again verify, if we multiply B and B inverse, we do get a three by three identity matrix. We have B times B inverse, enter, and we do get the three by three identity matrix. Let's go ahead and record the inverse of matrix B. I hope you found this helpful.